Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. Guys, I'm here with Dave. I want you to meet Dave. I want to tell you about him for one second and I'm going to hand it over to him. This isn't about me today. This is about him. You guys know this. This business offers, the automotive industry offers more money, more potential, and is made for anybody in the world. Dave, the record month, he's been in the business for two years. He doesn't take fresh ups. His record for most mo money made in one month is $58,000, and his record for selling cars is sixty-five. dollars He averages about 55 cars a month. Doesn't take one fresh up. I told you guys it could be done. Number one, he's going to tell you how he does it, but I want to start out with Dave. Introduce yourself. Tell us who you are, how you got in the business, and you need to know his story. His story is more important than anything else, and then we'll get to the magic. Dave, go ahead, bud. Hey, bud. hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dave Tutella. I'm based just south of Boston. Um, so just a quick rundown about me. Um, 25 years old, I lost my father and my little brother while I was living in Los Angeles. Um, I ended up moving back home, um, got into drugs and alcohol pretty bad, um, moved back home, was living with my mom, uh, managing a restaurant for a couple of years. Um, at 27, I kind of decided, you know, enough is enough. Um, started looking for job opportunities. And I was out interviewing, um, having my mom drive me around because I didn't have a car at the time. Um, interviewing for any random sales job that I could sort of find. And I took one and I needed a car. So I walked into a Honda dealership. Um, they full popped me, made all the money. And uh, they offered me a job too. And, and I jumped and I said, you know what? Let's go for it. So my first couple months in the business, I was miserable. I wasn't making really any money the first month, 100% um, commission, um, making no money, just hammering out the phones. And they wouldn't let me leave the BDC. I was stuck in the BDC for three months, just ripping the phones um, and taking half deals. I wasn't allowed to leave the BDC. On my third month, um, a salesperson quit who was uh, kind of utilizing Facebook a little bit. And I asked if I could take her old leads. And she told me, yeah, that's fine. There's nothing there. They're all dead leads. They're a year plus older. Uh, and I said, okay, great. So I ripped every single one of those. I sold 34 cars that month. I made $17,000. And the rest is history. The rest is history. And, you know, I kind of... I didn't grow up in a, in a, in a great way. I didn't really have, you know, the best life post college and I did graduate college and I kind of, I slumped for a few years after going through a lot. Um, and, and I was kind of lost and I got into car sales accidentally and I never really thought that I could make a lot of money doing it. I had no idea that people actually make money like they make. And once you get a little bit of taste of it, you realize that there's no ceiling in this business. You can literally make you can go from making $30,000 a year to $300,000 a year in one year. And I, I, I did that. So, I, you know, it's living proof that you can do this and you just have to be different and you just have to work harder than everybody else and, and stay consistent, get up every single day and get after it, work on your days off if you can um, and work as much as possible and, and really just take advantage of all the tools that you have, the internet um, and, and everything around you. So, so real quick, this is important because I talk about this a lot and, and, and obviously guys, you know, just number one, you're amazing. I'm just telling you, and I truly say that this is what the automotive industry is about. It's about it's from zero to freaking hero. The people that come from nothing can end up with the most drug addict. I don't care. You, like you said, going into depression with losing your brother and your father, which I'm sorry. And everybody right now, heart is probably broken. Life can sometimes hit you with anything and it can strip you and tear you to nothing. And you know what? When you decide that you are made for greatness and at 27 your mom's giving you rides and you're living with her and you're trying to figure out what the hell's next, when you got that job at that car dealership, right? They probably thought, man, hey, this guy's just another number. But what happened is you took massive action. And tell them how many calls you were making a day in that BDC department. I was making 200 phone calls a day. I was ripping everything alphabetically. I didn't care how old the, the, the lead was. I was going through, I was calling every single lead, 200 plus calls a day. You assumed everything was a deal. You were going to find it. You're going to get your hands on it, right? it, right? Yeah, if they put their information in there at one point or another, they needed a car. Nobody puts their information in for no reason. 
That's exactly right. Nobody's on the car dealership for no reason. People don't call on the phone when they're not trying to not buy a car. Okay, and once we realize that everybody can buy, they came to buy, and they will buy if you do your job, guess what? All of a sudden, you start acting different, you start going at it different. And like everyone else is pre qualling everybody to death, you're going at it to try to find that deal and you're hustling. And guess what? You had an opportunity to get on the sales forward, and notice I said the word opportunity. Had you not gotten that girl's list, that year old dead list that she said, hey, that deal, there's nothing in there, it's all junk. Am I right? Yeah. She said, hey, that list, you might as well trash it. And you said, hey, is it cool if I call it anyways? Had you not had that 200 call a day work ethic and you started grinding those leads, man, you end up making yourself $17,000 and everybody in your store thought, hey, man, something's going on here. By the way, what do, what, what, what do the veterans want you to do? They want you to do it the old school way. And, and by the way, if you're a veteran out there and you're training with me, guys, I'm not talking about you, okay? I'm talking about the negative Nancys in the world that are going and telling you that time and experience is how you make a lot of money in this business. No, it's not. You can go in right out just like you did from 27 to 29, right? How much money have you made in the car business in the last two years? I can, I, I can tell you this. When I first got into the car business, my bank account was overdraft $4.36. I'll never forget it. I had $12,000 maxed out credit card and I was just under $40,000 in student loan debt. That's, that was where I was at. I didn't have money for lunch. And I paid my first year, I paid all that debt off every penny. Um, I bought a house just closed in December 31st, a half a million dollar house with the love of my life. Um, and I've probably made in two years, 700 grand. We're right about there. Guys, listen, I want to ask this real quick because there's a lot of people out there right now that are trying to put titles on people doing extraordinary things, right? Guy says, Hey, I made 700 grand, two years selling cars. Guess what? They're like, ah, oh, man, that guy's dad must have owned a dealership, must be getting fed leads. Number one, does anyone give you a lead you don't generate? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Nope. Okay. Well, ask a second question. Number two, do you take a single fresh up? None. None. I don't hold take up. Ups. Right, now people are really screwed up. They're like, all right, hold up. How are you doing it? You know how? Because you're thinking outside the box. You're watching people out there drowning on the pavement. I told everybody, you have to become walking internet departments. It's 2020, man. It's, whether you like it or not, the technology age is here. And how does a guy beat everybody else? Well, number one was skill. Yeah, sure, he's got to know how to close every deal. But also, more leads equals more money. Now, I'm going to ask this question. Are you sitting there drilling those 200 phone calls a day now? No, because you've built processes for yourself that you don't have to do that, right? Man, you've built your own business inside of your business. Market myself. I have my own personal Facebook page that's a work page, and people assume that that's a dealership, and it's not. It's me. I work for a dealership. You know, you brand yourself. You don't brand your store. He works for a Honda store. He don't brand the Honda store. He brands himself. And anywhere you go in the country, you can take yourself with you, right? You're the investment. It's you. And you have all your all. And this video isn't about talking about what you have set up. This video is about talking about from rags to freaking crushing it. It's about going from massive problems. Hey, and, and really, and I'm going to say this because this is important. You're not motivated. Man, Dave, you're driven. And that's the difference, man. Motivated people, when the sun's shining, life's great. You know, your family doesn't have any problems. You got money in the bank. You know, it's easy to be motivated on those days. But whenever you're sitting there and you're crashing and you don't have anything and your family's not doing okay and you got problems at home and you can't feed yourself, then you're like, shit, man, I sure don't feel like a winner today. When you can wake up and do it on those days, you can do it on any day. And I'm telling you, if anybody's watching this, Dave isn't motivated. Sure, motivated is a feeling, right? Like, hey, man, I'm motivated. I just got done watching a motivational video. Man, I'm jacked up. But guess what? Something doesn't go your way, you break, because motivation is a feeling. You're driven. And I would love for everybody to take away from this video the drive that you have.
You're a freaking driver, man. And if everybody can take and steal that from you from this video and realize that in a year from now, hell, in a month from now, they could have a, a full different complete life. What would you say to anybody right now that isn't where they want to be? If it's in the uh, car I, business or thinking about getting in. Yeah, I mean, I could, uh, yeah, I could tell you that as low as you can possibly get in this life, I've been there. As low as you can possibly be in this life, I've been there and I've turned it around. And you turn it around the next day. You can wake up and you decide enough is enough. I want a better life and I want more out of this life. And you go and you get it and you don't let anything get in your way. And you surround yourself by people that are doing that. And you surround yourself by people that are performing and you stop hanging out with the people who aren't. And you, like you said, you stop hanging out with the Debbie Downers and you focus on you and you focus on getting done what you have to get done and growth and stability and the life that you want for yourself. Damn. I love it, man. Hey, welcome to America, man. Opportunities everywhere, man. It's crazy. That, that's it, man. And hey, guess what? How many, can I ask this one question? And then, you know, obviously I don't want to make this too long. I'd love for everybody to get what they need to get out of this and then get to work and make their life change and make it happen. Um, how many people believed in you in this life that you're after right now and how great you're doing? How many people really said, Dave, you, you, you can do that, man? How many? Two or three. That's it, man. You know what? And, and you're lucky you have two or three. One of them was my general manager. One of them was my general manager. I should have That's been amazing. fired on my first day. I should have been fired on my first day because I was late. <laughs> my That's very crazy, first day, man. I should have been fired. He said, I'm going to give you another chance. And that's it. And hey, listen, man, I'm going to give a shout out to your GM. He's got to be a badass, man. Just telling you. Yeah, that's great, man. And, uh, and hey, and number one, I just want to say, and obviously before we end the video, guys, bought a new home, half a million dollar house, came from nothing, two years, worked his way up, 700K in two years. Uh, you average about 55 cars a month. Is that right? So you said your record was 65. You've tied it a few times, right? You said the most, the most you've ever made in a single month, uh, 58,000. Is that right? And man, and man guess what? You're just getting warmed up, bro. That's it. That's why you I'm really here. Are, man. Yeah, That's man. Why I'm so, here. Hey, so, guys, listen. I want you, Dave. Dave, uh, you're in Massachusetts. Is that right? Is that right? Yep. Yep, Massachusetts. Got his girlfriend. Probably going to be married soon. One day out there. Obviously, you guys got a home. You got a four-year-old little boy. So you got a giant Y, right? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's amazing. Everybody out there can resonate with him 100% across the board. I'm going to say this to you. Wherever you found yourself connecting with him, he's amazing. You're human. You're just like anyone else. People try to put titles on people doing extraordinary things. Man, all you got to do is want it and not be interested. You got to be committed. And you got to be driven, not motivated. Motivated is great. I love the way I feel when I get motivated. But you got to be driven. And even if you wake up and the sun ain't shining, you still got to go get it until you break it and you make it happen. You force it. Am I right? Am I right? That's it. Yeah, like a tsunami, man. You're standing on a beach when a tsunami comes in. You're done, man. You can't run from a tsunami. So, you know, nobody wants to stand in front of somebody who's relentless and won't quit. You just got to go after it every single day. Yeah, that's every it, day. Yep. That's it. Hey, guys. All right, number one, I want you to meet Dave. He's amazing. I haven't done, you know, kind of a, uh, an introduction to a salesperson in a while. Been on the road training a lot. Um, he reached out. He was talking. And I was just like, dude, oh, my God, man. He's been doing some training constantly. He's, he's always leveling himself up. You heard him say, surround yourself with people that have been where you want to go. You know, people that, you know, believe in you. And it, by the way, if it's one person, you're lucky because you may not have anybody that believes in you right now. And you might be on your on your own. But I believe in you, Dave. You probably believe in them. Anybody can do it, right? Anybody can do it. That's it, man. Hey, number one, appreciate you. I can't wait to do another, you know, little YouTube. Hey, we'll probably see you at a master closer seminar in the next year. But, you know, once Massachusetts opens the gates back up, you can fly in and, uh, you know, rock and roll. Rock and roll. Hey, it's COVID, man. I don't care. There's no excuse. Every, <laughs> no every, excuse. Yeah, there's no excuse. <laughs> go, go I, was the only, I was the only guy in my dealership uh, in April. No manager there working from home remotely. I was the only one in there selling cars. <laughs> you just kept going, right?
You have to. You have to. You just got to yeah, keep and going. Hey, and by the way, I just I, and look, I, and I'm going to let him get off here because he's going back to enjoy time with his son. But I just want to say this. You know, he was telling me, he's like, hey, man, you know, I've been making money all day getting half deals in the dealership because I generate my own leads and then I, and then I send them off to another salesperson in the store. Man, man, that's amazing. Get paid on vacation. <laughs> that's it, man. So, uh, hey. hey, enjoy rock and roll, man. I'm going to jump off. Thanks, I'll Andy. I'll give you a call, man. Okay. Have all right, an brother. Amazing I appreciate it. You as enjoy well. Enjoy your family. Okay, Thanks, brother. Andy. Bye. Okay, hey. I'll see you. All right, brother. Bye-bye.